Hey everyone, my name is Kristen and I have lost 137 pounds using a ketogenic lifestyle. Today I'm gonna to show you what I eat in a day. It's a full day of eating keto, but first I wanna talk about a few things. Again, my name is Kristen and welcome to all my new subscribers. And if you're not subscribed, could you please press the like button, subscribe and ring the bell. That way you'll get notified when I upload. I really appreciate everyone who comes to my channel. I started this channel over a year ago to try and spread the word about keto and how it has changed my life. And that's what I'm doing. I'm just absolutely amazed that I have over 2000 subscribers and I really appreciate all of you. I appreciate you telling me your stories, sharing things, because believe it or not, people read all the comments and they get encouragement from you too. So we're a community, we're helping each other, we're supporting each other. And I try to do that also over on my Facebook group. It's called Kristen Johns and I'll link that down below. You can come join us there and we give each other support and tips and tricks. So please come join us there. I'm very active over there. And I also have an Instagram, it's called at Keto Kid Kristen. And please come join me there as well. And you can see my progression from about six months in until now. I started that around the same time that I started my YouTube channel. And I do a lot of what I eat in a day videos and grocery hauls. And I'll link that down below. So I just want to do a little short talk today. I like to do a little bit of talking before I get into my what I eat in a days. And just give you a recap of what's going on with me. I'm 5'7", I weigh 195 pounds. I started my weight loss journey at 332 pounds. So now I obviously have lost 137 pounds and I have been kind of stuck, I would say, at the 137 pound mark for a few weeks um, because I've been sick and that happens. You feel sick and you get sick and you kind of stall and that's what's going on with me, but I stay keto, I'm always keto. I, at this point in my journey, I've been 19 months keto, I'm almost at 20 months keto. I can't go off of keto. If I eat anything that is not keto, I feel sick and I can't do it. I know that some people are keto and low carb and switch back and forth. That's not what I can do. I get ill. And here's something that happened to me recently. I went out to eat with my big kids. I have an 18 and 16 year old. My 18 year old had an endocrinologist appointment. And so we went out to eat afterwards and we went to Texas Roadhouse. And I know a lot of people on keto go to Texas Roadhouse. And I did pre-keto and I did, I've done it once during the pandemic with my daughter. But I got a steak and I'll show you a picture of that right here. And it was good, it was okay. You know, I really love my food that I eat at home. The only other place that I've really gone out to eat is at Five Guys and that doesn't hurt me. But what happened to me right after I ate te Texas Roadhouse is I started to feel sick. And I'm gonna guess there's some sort of preservative or MSG or something else in it that does not sit well with me. And this is why I love the way I eat is because I always felt like this before. Pre-keto, I always felt sick. I thought it was normal to feel this way and now I don't. So yeah, I don't know. I got green beans too, which I normally don't get. I only had a few bites, but it didn't sit well with me. And it took me a few days to feel better and I went up in water weight. Um, and then before all that, I was sick for a couple weeks. Like, I don't know, some of you may remember I was really sick. I did really well pushing through videos during that time, but I really was sick and I just kind of maintained my lifestyle. So, but that happens and it's okay. Keto is not just for weight loss. It's for a lifestyle to make you feel good. And that's what keto does for me. It has changed my life in so many ways. And it's not just weight loss for me. So please comment below, what are other ways? I know a lot of you commented the other day what your whys were. Now I want you to comment below, what are other ways that keto has helped you besides weight loss? I have 300,000, I, there's a, not obviously not 300,000, but there are other reasons that keto has helped me. And 
I have videos out telling you all the ways that keto has helped me, but one way it has helped me is I no longer feel sick every day, literally tired, stomach pain, like it's just amazing to me. So comment down below, how has keto helped you in other ways? So anyway, here is a <laughs> what I eat in a day keto. Please press like, subscribe, and ring the bell. Really, really press the like. It really does help me grow my channel and I really wanna reach as many people as possible. And please, if you keep watching my videos, I have over a thousand views of my video. I'd like to get at least 400 likes. Let's see if we can do it. Let's see if we can get my video to 400 likes. All right, here we go. Without further ado, here is my what I eat in a day keto. Okay, so it's 5.45 in the morning and I don't like to eat a ton at first, so I'm going to have six pieces of bacon, two Mom. brewed cups, hold on Kira, two brewed cups of vanilla, um, French vanilla Green Mountain Coffee. I put a third of a serving of Premier Protein in, so that ends up being about one carb. And then I put a splash of cinnamon vanilla skinny syrup in. And then I have 32 ounces of water flavored with a splash of Mia Water Enhancer. I'm gonna make sure I try to get four of these in today. All right, I'm gonna eat this up and I'll see you all in the next segment. All right, so <clears throat> I am, I was gonna go for a walk, but I have a Zoom meeting at nine. I got Kira off to school and Sam off to school. So I'm gonna have some eggs and I coat the pan with a little bit of butter. And then this is two regular eggs with three servings of egg whites. And I'm gonna add some American cheese to this, probably make an omelet today. So let me cook this up. So I'm gonna put in about an ounce of cheese in a minute. Let me get. So I put a little bit of pink Himalayan salt on. Now I'm gonna put some cheese on. This is about an ounce of American. Make sure it gets cooked thoroughly. Right. So that's a huge, huge omelet I'm having. So, see how big it is compared to my hand? So, two eggs, three egg whites, servings of egg whites, an ounce of American cheese, a dash of pink Himalayan salt. I'm going to fill up another 32 ounces. I've already done 32 ounces of water. And I'll do probably a splash of Mia Water Enhancer. And then I'm gonna have another Premier Protein shake with my skinny syrup and the um, cinnamon roll flavor. So I'm gonna eat this up and I'll see you all in the next segment.
for lunch, I am having this entire can of chicken salad. It's three and a half servings, no carbs, and it's a ton of protein. I think it was like 44 grams of protein. Um, I mixed it with two servings of Hellman's Real Mayonnaise. Yes, I use Hellman's Real Mayonnaise. And then on the side to dip with it, I put the Tangy Ranch Wisps. Um, one serving of that is three carbs. And then I'm going to drink a root beer Zevia with that and continue to drink my meal water enhancer water. So I'm going to eat this up and I'll see you all in the next segment. Right, so for dinner, I am having a hamburger salad. I have lettuce with some salsa and this is kind of an eclectic dinner. Pickles and four ounces of beef with G. Hughes sugar-free Italian dressing. I'll pop a picture of, of that. So this is what I'm going to eat. I'm going to eat this up and I'll see you all later. All right, for the last part of my day, a full day of eating keto, I have my pink jello salad. I will link that down in the description, the recipe for that. It's delicious. I've eaten it for a long time keto. And I like to add a cup of sugar-free jello. This is the Lake House Farms or Winky brand. And then I did get in four of these. This is my last one of the day. So I'm going to eat this up and I'll see you all in the next video. Please remember to hit like, subscribe, and ring the bell. It really, really does help my channel grow. All right, thanks so much for watching and have a great day. Side by side, our fears are done. All the good times just begun. Oh, we know what we have. Let's hold on tight. Found what we're looking for in life.